So Sarah Jane Adventures Episode 1 Space Knights Vast, glorious, beautiful Sarah Jane My name is Sarah Jane Smith And once I travelled along the stars Giant, radiant, class crowds, wonderful twin stars, worlds of all colour, just over a dream. I only saw worlds beyond imagination. I went to places beyond my wildest dreams, yet creatures beyond my darkest nightmares. All of it was amazing. As she cut, speaks, your journey increases speed, cutting across dark space. The stars become not speaks of light. Now approaching a small, wooded. Sun orbited by nine planets our solar system. So Jane, then one day, when I wasn't expecting it, I came home. Bareman roads, by sky, sun shining. You must know what it, that it's a Sunday. Sarah Jane comes out of the house, smiles at the day. So Jane, life changed. Across the road, she sees Harish washing his car. Gita's booming, lovely van is parked there too. She's watering the hedge. As Hamish, Hamish turns away from her, mischievous greeter aims a hose and splashes his wish. So Jane grins briefly, broadly. So Jane, more than I could ever have believed possible. A loop follows her out the house, kisses her goodbye. So Jane, now I have a son. She gets in the car, her car as Clyde and Rainey show up, and Luke joins them. So Jane, even a family sorts. Kids wave to her. And she pulls away in the car. So, Jane, life is good on Batman Road. Even if they sometimes have to work odd hours. Generic systems building day. A, a high-tech high-rise building block. A begin sign by the door declares a genetic systems. A new generous begins. So, Jane, thank you for agreeing to see me after work, Mr. Yorkie. Genetic systems nanolab day. White. Paint, steel, and glass, modern, modernist, cold. Sarah Jane is walking alongside a young, power dressed American dr- businessman. Madison Yorkie, confident, arrogant. Yorkie, no problem, Mr. Smith. Who wants to go home for the day when you go, go to the, uh, on the edge of something bigger than the discovery of fire or spitting the amphitheater? Am- So Jane, both developments that brought us many developments as they did benefits. Yoki smiles easily. Practice that smile. Yoki, I know that your people worry about neurotology, Miss Smith. But people are scared of electricity or trains or telephones. Science has always scared people. Yoki, in a little leading Sarah Drain for the sparkling high-tech lab, large glass tubes that seem to be filled with smoky glass liquid dominate the centre of the room. So Jane is glancing, glossy genotech brochure. Yogi. Nanotechnology is a science of molecular engineering. Yogi indicates a tube. Yogi, this is where we grow the nanoforms of microscopic engineers. He invites her to look down the microscope. Yogi, please, Sarah Jane looks through the microscope. Yogi, robots too small to see with naked eye, but with potential giants. Microscope. Hundreds of tiny swarming nanoforms, microscopic robots. Out of close, and we close in a single nanoform. Genetic system nano lab day. Yoki and Sarah Jane are there. Well, they were. Yoki, one day you will build us. They build us some, everything we want, everything we need, from simple atoms, fix a punctured tire to a pair of damaged human heart. Who knows, even construct a whole new planet. Jane, Sarah Jane looks up from the microscope, Sarah Jane. Or destroy the one we already have, according to, to some environmental scientists. Yogi smiles and laughs and approaches the tubes, regards them as he speaks. This is where the nanoforms are grown. Yogi nanoforms out. A control eating up all matter. It's hogwash, Miss Mouth. So, Jane, it is true that despite our dramatic claims for those nanoforms, your results have been somewhat exaggerated to secure investment. Investors are likely to see a return for their money for maybe a hundred years. Yorkie's smile freezes over. 
Genetic genetic systems of the way of the day. As Sarah Jane is escorted from the building by a security man. Sarah Jane, I take that as no comment, then shall I? Genetic systems, car park day. Sarah Jane is getting into the car. Sarah Jane, as, as I said, my life changed, but I my, loved my job and my life. Banner and Ran Road day. Jane, Sarah Jane pulls up to some outside a house. Harry, she's purchasing the car. I put up now. A true perfectionist. Skeeter is bringing him coffee. Luke and Clyde are back kicking a ball behind them. Between them, Clyde kicks it and slams against the side of the car, leaving a dirty mark. Harry Ashley gives Clyde daggers. Ranny pruning a hedge and Gita laugh. And Sarah Jane gets to the car and sees something above. Then it, and then everybody, everybody's working. Something in the huge comet blazing his way across the sky. So, Jane, because once you've seen the videos of real, and nothing ever looks quite the same again. Harry and Gita stare transfixed to the comet. Luke, Clyde, and Narani are now exchanging a look with Sarah. Jane, they all share the same smile with secret excitement. Sarah Jane's house day. Clyde and Jane, Luke and Janey. And so Sarah Jane as she locks the front door. Clyde, so was that? Meteor, comet, or something really cool. Please tell me it's something cool. Luke, a body entering Earth's atmosphere generates temperature in excess 1,600 degrees centigrade. No, why was it something cool, Clyde? Clyde, yeah, you still don't got, you've got a long way to go with that human thing, my young brunette. As, as they head inside, so James at the Tatic, Jonoid ship flight deck day. So Jane, Clyde, Luke, and Rennie rest in. So Jane, Mr. Smith, I need you. Fun fair, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Sarah Jane, might I assume that you might witness the extraterrestrial body of recently entered the Earth's atmosphere? Very really good to see you in the bowl, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith is showing a graphic of a spaceship entering the atmosphere, cutting across the world, across the UK. Mr. Smith, indeed, Mr. Rennie. I have, in fact, been tracking the object since it entered the solar space 45 minutes ago so Jane it crossed the solar system 45 minutes and we're not talking about the meter are we Miss Smith I detect the matter signature of a, 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 a ionic pulse fusion engines Clyde beams of light as it looked Clyde now that sounds like something cool Miss Smith I intercepted the following distress signal and Mrs. Smith screens as field visual and audio in audience Fulian it snatches an alien language, Captain Tubo. Jubala umuna muna kalo do 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 kubo. Jubala muna do kubo holo. The picture's clear. Juno, Captain Tubo, wrestling with the controls of his cursing ship. Captain Tubo. You go, Jubala do do no, kubo kubo. Now a blast of interference kills the signal. Hey, oh boy, a talking rhino, Sarah Jane, he's Juron. In the work of the shadow population, sort of galactic policemen. Luke, so they're good guys? So, Jane, they might depend on your point of view. From what they heard, what I heard, their methods aren't exactly lightly, softly, softly. Miss Smith, you need to be uh, isolated, the space golf crash unit. Sorry, disappointed. Not our problem then. Leave it to the professionals. Terrific. Mrs. Smith, but the unit was, so you know where, Lifepod has ejected from before impact. So, Jane, Lifepod? Miss Smith, graphic indicates something parting from the ship shortly before it crashes, Miss Smith. I can and suggest you fall some ten miles outside the unit isolation zone. Sorry, yes. So Jane, it takes a lot to knock a duranium of his feet. But someone might have be injured. They might need our help. Luke, if they're really looking for this ship, isn't it best left to the unit? Clyde, what? Are you sitting there and those of the pilot crashes? Do you want unit to have all the fun? Sarah Jane House. Sarah Jane, Clyde, Rainy, Luke, leaving the house, heading for the car, Rainy. Luke's got the point. We don't want to go upsetting the unit again. Sarah Jane, and how do we explain that we knew that the ship rejected dive pod? They don't know about Miss Smith, and they're not going to. Plus, from what I heard, the Junoid aren't all that bright. Clyde. Oh, great. A pangalactic PC plod. So, Jane, unit carry guns, and so do Jared. 
If you ask me, that spells trouble. So Jerry has a door open. The leader hurries along across. He's carrying a huge bunch of flowers that almost hides her. Gita, Sarah, Sarah Rose, Jane, Rose of Eyes, Sarah Jane, Sarah Jane, Sarah Jane, Gita, Sarah, wait up. Rina glances at Sarah Jane. Rita, Rita, Rina, sorry, Gita, off, out, don't you, somewhere, Rita, quickly thinking, yes, mum, according to the news, that Rita had come down here, we thought we'd go and take a look, Luke, mum thought it would be a good journalism practice for any, she could write an article for the school magazine, Sarah Jane, so we were a bit of a hurry, she starts to usher the kids into the moat. Gita, oh, no problem, my darling, you notice how grateful I am for all this work experience you gave Rennie? It's just some, that's what I, that I'm stepping out of the corporate side of my flower, <laughs> flower shop. Sarah Jane really hasn't got the time for this, Sarah Jane. Corporate side? So fascinating, Gita. Even in companies that need flowers to brighten their day, Mark. Sarah, especially these days. I wonder if all your contacts, you might have any suggestions. People I might approach, Sarah, Sarah Jane. My contacts, really, Gita? My normal contacts don't usually have much interest in flowers. Clay, quiet and Luke, Luke and Rennie, unless they're Triffids. Gita, go, corporate buildings these days, they're all glass and steel. Very f- funny. You need a little flower power. Luke, hmm, we ought to be going. Sarah Jane knows it's desperate to get, it's desperate to get away. Grabs the granitic, generic brochure lying in the car seat, for fashion seat. Sarah Jane, yes, Gita, when you take a look at these people, a little flower power is just what they need. As Gita takes the brochure, they all, as they all in the car, pulling away, as G- they, and they're all in the car, pulling away, as Gita reads the brochure. Delicate estate, crash type day. So Adrian, Luke, Floyd and Rainey take the surrounding, a depressing and sinister derelict housing estate. A, vis- a visually enhanced, f- particularly diminished house. Smoke wind keep rising from the rumble. And Luke indicates Luke. Looks like the Jedi has help, uh, has helped with the demolition, Clyde. You take, they take us to all the best places, Sir Jane, Sir Jane. Red Lake Chase Estate. I've been on the council of Urban Rural list for years. I've done countless stories about this, the problems here. Manny, do you think whoever was, what, do you think whatever was in that life would survive? Ladies being cut across them. Bang on the noble house. Sarah Jane, get down. The cake cover, Clyde. Well, I guess that answers that question. Uh, from among the director house, Captain Turbo. No, no, gone firing. Another laser being faint. Fly, slow, fly. Lorraine, stop firing. We're on your side, Luke. We're not, he's not firing us. Look, a, li- a distance away. Something else escaping down the houses. E- ugly. D- lizard like. Adorocks. Captain Turbo. Adorocks. Silver ball, coal ball, jaw. He pursues Sarah Jane. Keep down as he stay down as Captain Turbo heads over after Adorex. Rennie, you nearly blew our heads off, the moron. Sarah Jane is suddenly grim. Sarah Jane, oh no, Luke, what is it? Sarah Jane. Remember the Joehead, Joehead, or policeman, more. I think that Crest was some. I think what Crest here was some sort of prison carrier. Played in the Rona, Rosa's last, lost his prisoner. So Jane, the Rona, John Ed, not only interest is stopping that creature getting away. Humans don't matter. Under the articles of Shadow Procurative, Clyde, we barely exist. Too primitive, Clyde. You know, a planet could start. Get, start to get a complex, so Jane, come on. So Jane is off. Ready, where are you going, Sir Jane? Maybe you can help me him catch his convict before anyone else gets to his way. Luke, Clyde and Rennie run after Sir Jane. Derek State, Burnbush area day. Captain Tobo is making his way through another way, cautious now. Not ready for Anorax. Who comes after behind him? Anorax whispers, Joad. So the road wings swings around. Tobo, a massive piece of wood. Or RGA coming at him, smack. Adorax is standing above an unconscious Dorad. His little like mouth breaks in an impulsively wide smile of a thousand razor edged teeth. Adorax reaches out to Tobo, then the sound of someone coming. 
You may stop smiling just as fast. Pull back down, back from the turbo and makes off one of the houses. As Sarah Jane, Luke, Clyde and Rennie reach the spot. Rennie, look. Look at Rennie's swoop, concerned on the pro turbo. There is yellow blood over one of his eyes. Luke, you've been knocked cold. Sarah Jane, be careful. Turbo begins to stir. Quickly, Sarah Jane goes his fallen weapon and throws it aside. Turbo is suddenly alert and angry. Turbo, roll, show, bro, far, draw. Clyde, roll. Turbo leaps to his feet, now furious. Turbo, I cried, whoa, whoa, show, go. Clyde, to the others, what did they say? But Turbo staggers a little, nearly falls. Rook and Renny, how have they helped him? Turbo shakes him off. Turbo, go, throw, roll. Sarah Jane takes charge. Turbo Jane to Turbo, you're injured. We want to help you. Turbo puts his transistor out. Turbo out. And puts it near Sarah Jane's mouth. You have the rack startled. My name is Sarah Jane. I mean no harm. This is long as that is as long as you don't harm us. Turbo grunts and holds up her voice, pressing the button. Sarah Jane is playing voice plays back high pitched fast. My name is Sarah Jane. So uh, Turbo drives the voice to the nozzle on his own chest. <sighs> He shudders, then a deep well. He shudders, and then a gruntled grunt voice, Turbo. Language, language is stimulated. If English, you will be catalogued. He uses an it. Turbo, species human, Rennie. Well, duh, you're on Earth. Turbo, you have taken Juno officer's weapon. You assist as the prisoners escape, Luke. We didn't help anyone escape. Aren't you listening? We're trying to help you, Clyde. Yeah. Your prisoners clubbed you and ran off, Lenny, and we only took your gun because we nearly blew our heads off back there. What do you think of Jack Burr? Tubbo, you and P. Jordan in duty, sentence is execution. Only Tubbo tries to get off his gun, go off his gun, and he only sinks to his knees and groans with pain. Sarah Jane, you have to go to help him. Sarah Jane, I don't think you have an initiate to execute anyone, let alone your only friends on this planet. Luke, your prisoner really hit you hard. Well, who is he, Sir Jane? And more importantly, how dangerous is he? Turbo looks at him carefully, considering Turbo. He destroyed the worlds. Don't it how a state green day? A grassy area close to some garages. A girl, Juliet, eight days, plays with a toy black and bright cat. Her mother, Rose, stands in the way of hovering out of her car. We see Anorex. Hiding, watching off the calculate his nasty lizard eyes, take it all in. He's quite seems to smile again. He watches Julie. A thought, thought, a long thought tongue licks his face. He looks hungry. Down at house at Rambush a day. Toby is in the knees in front of Sarah Jane, Luke, Clyde and Rainey, who will give him a handry for the yellow blood over his eyes. Rainey here, he looks at it uncomprehendingly, Rainey. For the blood, Turbo loses the hand, takes the hand, puts it against the cut, Turbo. I am Turbo, captain of the 1015th Jodo Guard. So, Jane, I'm very pleased to meet you, Captain. But you might, what I really want to know, who is your prisoner, Jodo Turbo? Anna, Anna Frax, there is a, a, a no later. Wanted of all five galaxies, 12 accounts of global destruction. Cried, and you want, you, let him get away, whoops. Is it a but Roman burger when you get back to the station? Renny, don't you, uh, don't you have him in the handcuffs or something? Turbo, prisoners are secured. I do not answer the humans. So angry Sarah Jane gets right into Turbo's face. Sarah Jane, are you crushed and let some creature really destroy 12 plates loose in our world? I think your answer is to all us, Captain Turbo. There's a girl scream from somewhere in the distance. Jerry Estate Green, Julia screaming, Roz turns, we see her horror. Roz, Julia, the curly cat falls to the ground. Jerry Estate, Aaron Bush, Aaron Day. Toby tries to get up, she can't, still two days. Toby, two and Will. So Jane, Luke, Rennie, call, stay the captain, Dogo, Clyde, come with me. So Jane runs, Clyde follows, picking up the ball and run as he goes. Clyde with Jane, without even looking, and leave the gun. Clyde ditches the gun and runs after her.
Tobo, Tobo Green's lovely, Dory Estate Green. Day Julia is standing alone with Dory Jane, and Clyde rushes towards her. As they get closer, Julia turns to face him. She's frightened, frightened, crying. Julia, a monster, so Jane, it's all right. It's gone now. You're safe, Julia. It took my, it took my mummy. Jenna's house at the Duff Kitchen, Dave. Do you it's flickering through the genetic brochure. Harish comes in, finally finished cleaning the car. He's carrying a fist, fistful sweets, Harish. There's a pop, map pocket in the driver's door, Gita. Not a pick and mix box, Gita. Oh, come on, Hitch. It's well known, in fact, that sucking on sweetie improves the concentration. You don't believe in dents and scrapes as cookies are saved a car from? Tellish, it's better to make me feel. Is that how it's supposed to make me feel better? You just smile, it's teasing. Harish shakes his head to her. Yes, very me, Harish. What's, what's that you got there? Is that a technology? Peter, it's the future. Ish, I can't have read about it. Harish, most great robots can build anything, practically out of thin air. I say we have them inside us. I tell you, one of us is perfect human beings. I can think of a few people who could do with something like that. Peter, I tell you, it's a future, man. Man, anyway. But being lovely is going. You're in tech, Harish, what? She goes to the car, takes the and powered. She's heading for the door. Gita, come on, explain the way to shop. His shoulders are bemused. Very state day. So Jane is coming to Jane. The dealer is crying, returns to them. Clyde, I have to look around. There's no sign of any facts. Oh, Julia's home. I didn't get it. Why would a destroy worlds work with a girl's mum? The girl's mum, so Jane, I don't know. Hostage may be something at the bargain, Clyde. And after it doesn't know Captain Turbo very well, does he? Turbo doesn't know anything like it, a tumor getting away with tr- trigger bringer. Trying, which is exactly why we have to find an- the Anavex before Tobo does. does. Daily estate ambush day. Randy and Luke are two weak week in Turbo. Luke phone goes. Luke? Hello, Mum. Daily estate green ambush area. Daily Jane, Clyde and Julie as they are. So Jane, Luke. Who is Captain Tobo? Luke. Oh, so Jane, how is Captain Tobo, Luke? I think he's going to be all right. Joe Jane, I need you and Rainy to keep him occupied. We're, ke- we're, over, we're over on that little green we passed. Keep him out of the way for as long as you can. We think Anorex. Anorex has taken a little girl home, hostage, home hostage. I have to find out them first. To the next state uh, bush area. Luke on the phone. Rainy with Tobo. Luke in the phone. Okay, ma'am. We'll take care of it. Yes, we'll be careful. We have Ends the call and turns back to Rainy and Turbo at States of Murray. Look, man thinks Anorex is heading back to the crash site. Turbo goes his gun. Turbo, I hunt. And blunders, blunders off. Really look, really look right to, Rain, to Rainy. Clear that he's hiding something. Green direct sight, green sight. Sarah Jane is comforting Luke Julia. A clay looks on. Sarah Jane dances at a watch. Julie, it was a monster. Sarah Jane, it was an alien, not a monster. Aliens are people. Just like us. It looked a bit different, that's all. Julia, it looked horrible. Julia Jane probably looked look awful to you, him too. A strange face in him. I'm sure he's just as scared as you are. Clyde, Sarah Jane's right. I reckon he just wants your, wants your mum to help him. Clyde doesn't really believe his assurances. And now he finds himself running out of steam. Clyde, phone home or something. Sarah Jane gives him the look. Can't believe he said that. Sarah Jane, but then the best, best important thing is that you have to trust me, Julie. You have to trust me to find your mum and look after you. Julie ends the seem to consider it for a moment. Deeds at Simon, Sarah Jane, very closely, the way a young kid will. Julie. I trust you, Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane, good. Now I'm going to take you back to my house while we find your mummy. Is that all right? Sarah Jane offers her hand. Julie looks at her, seems very hesitate. Sarah Jane, and the moment perhaps you can tell me why my scanner have been reading you as not really human. Julie snivers, stimmers at the end of her, steps out of her body 
and reaches up and touches Sarah Jane's head. Sarah Jane, Julie is still entranced. Sarah Jane, Chloe, Sarah Jane, a flash, Sarah Jane's eyes. Now she's immobile. Anorex turns and sneer and collide. Anorex's tongue clicks across his face. Anorex, Anorex, stay here where you are, Clyde. What do you want? Anorex, I am at top of Julie's most wanted list. I want to stay there. Clyde, let Sarah Jane go, Anorex. I don't think so. Chiming Anorex steps into Sarah Jane's body. Clyde lunges at them. Sarah Jane, no, leave her alone. Anorex has disappeared. Sarah Jane turns and Clyde stops him with a touch of his hand. Vazzy nines and Clyde's in the same trance. Sarah Jane smiles. Anorex's tongue clicks across her face. Dirty house, sight crash like day. Turbo's scanning for signs of Anorex. Luke, a rainy watch, hanging back to con- spiritual conversation. Rainy, this isn't going to work. Luke's turbo's going to realise sooner or later we're having him on. I don't know about you, but I don't think Gerard have much of a sense of humour, Luke. Mum just needs some time. If Turbo catches up with Anorex before she does, girl's mum won't have stand a chance. Manny, if he catches up on us, neither will I. we. The Turbo marches towards them. Turbo, Anorex, not here? Did he return? No trace, you lie. Turbo raises his gun, threatening Luke. No, he wasn't lying, Manny. A mistake. There's, been a, there's a difference. Big mistake. Luke, the mistake isn't a crime, even to a Jewhead. Turbo seems to consider. Loads his gun. Eyes, folks, phone, which he still holds in his hand. Tobu grabs it from Luke. Luke, that's my phone, Tobu. Communication device cost time, no good. So when you give, reluctant, Jane, hand, Tobu the phone, Renny. Better than being executed, I suppose. I want it back, that was what, what, what was a birthday. Tobu crushes them under his boot, foot, Renny, present. Tobu, no more, mistake. He heads off. Many knew it's strange a look of foreboding and follow. Sarah Jane's house. Sarah Jane car pulls up. She gets out and looks up at it. It smiles. Don't like estate green day. Luke and Rainy watch as Turbo approaches grassy area ahead of the day. Them. Personal and patient. Rogue to Rainy. This must be the place where Anorak took the girl home hostage. Rainy. Well, it looks like Sarah Jane's gone now, so maybe it'd be okay. Turbo pulls out a scanner. Turbo. Anorex was here. Evidence of humans also. Renny gives Turbo an awkward smile, covering. Renny couldn't have been anyone, but Turbo's scanning, suddenly scanned Turbo. Trace, trans human body, fusion energy. Luke, what's that? The Turbo is on a mission. And now followed his scanner. Renny and Luke follow. During a state day, Turbo comes to a row of garages. As Renny and Luke watch, Turbo tears the door off with a one pull way. What are you doing? Turbo pitches into the carriage and they watch him inside as chairs, boxes, lawnmower, pots and various other unwilling junk flies out of it. Turbo unseen hurry. Everything and it, it waits it weighs nothing more, then it stops. And Rainy look at Rainy, look inside the garage. Turbo's found the hidden Clyde. Rose and Julie all staying, but apparently the sound of sleep looked good. Rainy and Luke tried to wake him up. Rainy, he's in a trance like say, I see my mum just like this. When Miss Wilmot would kidnap her. Good one, come look at her, Luke. Clyde, wake up. Where's mum? Turbo, method infective. Turbo grabs a discarded garden hose, ferries in Clyde's face, waking him up to start. Clyde, what? Get off. Turbo drops the hose. Tranny, what happened? Luke, where's my mum? Anorex. He, he stepped into her. Really? What? He did what? Clearly, it was weird. It was like he just stepped inside a body, Turbo. Anorex is veiled for a form. Can hide so inside of other bodies, really? And you didn't think to tell us? The Turbo. No, he's not a revenant. Luke, no, revenant? Well, now that you've escaped prison, he's hiding inside my mum. I say you're pretty revenant. That, that be, that's a privy reverend, wouldn't you? And Rose and Judy come to stay, come round. Ready, I think we'd better get out of here. To Toby, you might be difficult to explain, Clyde. Yeah. Has anyone got a towel? Sarah Jane Day. Sarah Jane looks in, takes, 
was in the room, picked up a couple of items that Sam had merely my crossy, then stepped before Mr. Smith and smiled with some, some chilling. So, Jane, Mr. Smith, I need you. Don't it have a statement of day? Turbo said he, Lee Rennie, Luke, and Dan Clyde, and Fanny. This is crazy. If we're going to find Sarah Jane or Anorax, where are we doing, going to need a lift? Clyde, yeah. Who's going to stop for him? Clyde, Luke, we're going to have to say it's fancy dress as the police for the law goes after all them. Ray, quick, get him out of sight. But Turbo when he stepped out of the road. Turbo transportation. Clyde, no, that's a police, Turbo. Then they will cooperate. The Turbo holds up his hand, signaling cops to stop. Manny, this is not, cannot be good. There's no time as the police car rolls to stop. Turbo lean levels a gun to cops and holds out a plastic sheet. Turbo doing only in writing. The cops get out and the cop two goes and running cop one. What's going on, Clyde? We're from out of town, Turbo. Red commission slip. And cop one runs away. Away, as Gerber says, Turbo, cooperation appreciated. Turbo moves to the police car. Clyde and Randy and Philip follow him. Clyde, it's police followed by four. Clyde pulls the door shut. Looks at Turbo beside him at the wall. Clyde, are you sure you know who hit out to drive? Turbo, I'm trained to pilot at all methods of, em- of emperation. Double guns as the engine. Air brakes comes off his hand. Look at me in the back seat. Exchange a look. Derek Estate Road Day. The police car four four. Police four by four pulls away. Bay hops a couple of times and moves off. Sarah Jane's at it. Day. Sarah Jane is still still before Mr. Smith. Mrs. Smith. Jane. Sarah Jane. You look different. Sarah Jane. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. You can look and say I've I've had someone walking in my life, Mrs. Smith. I'm detecting an alien presence. Sarah Jane. Ignore it. Mr. Smith, but my hair says suggest that he's a veil for all life. So, Jane, Mr. Smith, is your phone central phone to fully functioning? Mr. Smith, I believe so. So, Jane, if you want to stay that way, you will do what you're supposed to do and obey me. Got that? Mr. Smith, yes, Mr. So, Jane, understood. So, Jane begins to pray attic. So, Jane, good. And maybe we got started. You're the most powerful computer on this odd little planet, aren't you? Mr. Smith, I'm Yorick. And I am more than the computer, so Jane. I got in, not interested in details you crystalline moon bag. You don't infiltrate or any computer system on Earth, no matter how they are defended, isn't that right? Miss Smith, if that it was Sarah Jane I was talking to, she wouldn't need to ask Sarah Jane. I am Sarah Jane. I just so just so great being that reading and you will obey me because I understand that is what you're programmed to do. Is that your purpose? Mr Smith. What do you want, Mr Smith? Miss Jane's, Sarah Jane smiles, it's nasty. Sarah Jane, that's better. Suburban Road. Police car. Police car, four by four. Police jeep is making its way steadily. This suburban road, turbo, raining loop was before a cyclic overtake them. Luke, can't you go faster? Speed limit, 30 miles an hour. Car goes to stop at busy junction, rainy. What is it you, with you? Don't you need Get Starsky Hutch repeats and drill to an end. Turbo in the law, Clyde. It's a police car. You can turn on blues and twos. Turbo undercover operation. Another car, top down, stopped beside him at the junction. Boy racer playing loud music, very loud music. Turbo grimaces. The boy races and deep inside his noisy magic. He doesn't notice the drill down. And Turbo buzzes the shut window. Luke, Turbo, what are you doing? Clyde, no, no, no. Continue. As Turbo aims his gun through the window at the boy raises Turbo attention, boy raises turns, pies popping Turbo. Noise exceeds permitted levels, turn down. Don't even for a see the boy raider turns off the music. Turbo, have a nice day. Let's change the Turbo pulls out a genetic system, tick, tick system building day. The blooming, lovely, lovely, lovely van pulls up outside the genetic building. Gita jumps out, followed by less than a few static carriage. Gita, according to the brochure Sarah gave me, this building stretches away for miles. Well, a long way anyway. It says the square footage is biggest in West London. Gita, I'm impressed. Is it really? Gita opens the back of the car van. It's full of plants. Gita, might you, might, might you have to get a second van vote? Finish. This is ridiculous, Gita. You're going to get arrested. Gita, 
You wouldn't be such a wet blanket, Harish. You're not in school now, you know, Harish. No. I'd like to still have a job there tomorrow. Gita jumps a big, does a big plant into his arms. Gita, no one's going to arrest you. You're not breaking any laws. I've read about this sort of thing. Day to night, people go out and plant flowers and bushes around the city. Gorilla planting, they call it. Harish, except we're not planting in the city. We're dumping dozen plants in the reception of some major corporation. And this, they had some, and you had some bomb with ideas, but this one beats them all. Gita, wait. You see how much better that all the unfriendly steel and glass looks when some flowers and greenery. And I still think sending them a letter, a brochure, with more conventional approach. Gita, you see, conventional. That's your problem, my darling. You have to go into growing corporate floristry. You have to learn to think outside the seed box. The plant eat what world, Radish. Believe me now, come on, and careful with that flea plant. Agida carrying another plant. Heads into the netic gen tech. Reluctant, Harish in tow. He must, he just knows this is going too well. Joe Jane's house, the tall, please four, boy four. It part, rainy, Clyde and Jane, the turbo are looked. Look around, the no story the car. Luke, Mom isn't there, Rennie. Come, don't mean to, she's been, hasn't been. Come on, Dobo. No NMX. Just keep, must keep work, work looking. He's turning back to the car. Rennie grabs his arm. Rennie, no, you can't go stomping around the streets. You're a lady and someone's going to notice, Luke. Mom is here. Oh, it would be a clue where they were gone now. Turbo clue? Clyde, oh boy, you don't teach you anything in Jordan Police Academy. Dobo snows, claims his gun, Dobo. All I need is kids rolling their eyes in despair. The BB starts a fight, his flashes, Turbo scanners, Clyde. Clyde, what's that? Turbo checks his equipment, Turbo. Jordan recovery mission, entered Turbo's base, Clyde. More dread? Why does that not sound like a good thing? Turbo, NRX not escaped. Luke. What about my mum, Turbo? Anyway, it's capture and trial priority. Humans are relevant. Ready. Turbo's ship crossed the solar system in 45 minutes, remember? Glide. You've got to find her before they got get her. Get there. A blink from Turbo Scanner Turbo. Trace, trans body, fusion energy. Anabox was here. He strides towards the front door. Genetic, genetic systems reception every day. Gita setting plants out in the reception area. Harish enters, van keys in hand. Harish, I have moved all our van at least. They won't do us for destruction as well. He bends down to pick up a plant, and he sees the feet of the security man. He looks up at him sheepishly. Security man, what do you think? Do you want to tell me what you think of Dabin? Gita, oh, hello there. My, car, my card, Gita Kajanin. Flores, blooming activity, lovely. Security guard, blooming marvellous, I think you'd better come with me. Security man, blooming marvellous, I think you'd better come with me. Hurry, Stuita. Gita, you did, did I tell you what your bright ideas? You don't stop worrying, I told you. Sarah Jane, there's a chief executive. It's all going to be fine. As the security man leads them away, they just missed by his nanosecond. Sarah Jane, enter interception. Genetic systems, nanos, they. Yuki is a calendar's phone, Yuki. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Why they, they are they doing that? Plants? What sort of plants? Sarah Jane Smith? Yorkie licks up. Sarah Jane standing in his office with sonic lipstick in his own hand. Sarah Jane. Hello again, Mr. Yorkie. She fires a sonic at the telephone base unit on the desk. Yorkie cries out as if the phone's burned him and drops him. Yorkie, Sarah Jane blows in the sonic like a gun. Sarah Jane. Sonic lipstick. Only a little toy. Especially for getting into places I shouldn't be. Yogi grabs the phone. Yogi security. So I don't know. You're wasting your time, Ms. Yogi. I'm disabled. The entire genetic communications system. Yogi recovers his call. After all, he can deal with a woman like a Sarah Jane, can't he? Yogi, how about you to tell you this? This is a pretty extreme way of continuing all this conversation, Mr. Smith. So I oh, I'm all done talking, Mr. Yogi. I went on uniforms, Yogi. What? So I you're going to build me something, something very special. Look, he looks uh, stunned.
Sarah and James Attic, Luke. Fair look and Rennie, and Toba bursting Luke. Mr. Smith, we need you. A burst of fun found Mr. Smith emerges. In his usual calm, Mr. Smith is screaming. He pulses him in. Ready, Mr. Screaming. Smith, Luke, Clyde, run. Ready, run. Get out of the house now, Luke. I don't understand, Mr. Smith. Jerry Jane is distracted myself. Should do myself designation protocols initiate an activation. I explained in sixty seconds. Cut away in on lid lid a digital clock is counting down. Mr. Smith, explosion will destroy all of the Winton Road. Digital clock still running down. Mr. Smith, you must run now on Clyde, Luke and Rainey. Horrified. Episode one ends.